Hello, today we're overviewing the integration between Bitdefender Gravity Zone and NSXT Data Center Guest Introspection. We will do a demonstration to showcase this integration, configuration, and security action at work. Step 1 starts by integrating vCenter Server with Gravity Zone. Gravity Zone is the Bitdefender Security Console which provides infrastructure connectors to VMware platforms such as vCenter Server and NSXT Manager to streamline security, service deployment, management, and auditing. Using Virtualization Providers, Management Platforms tab, Gravity Zone is configured to connect to vCenter Server APIs to retrieve a snapshot of the asset inventory layout in virtual machines. Multiple instances of vCenter Server are supported. Once Gravity Zone is connected to vCenter Server, the in network inventory is populated with a list of vCenter Server instances, ESXi clusters, the hosts in those clusters, and the virtual machines that reside on those hosts. Any changes that occur on the infrastructure side, the Gravity Zone inventory is refreshed in real time. Step 2 involves connecting the NSXT Manager to Gravity Zone. In the Security Providers tab, we configure the connection between Gravity Zone and NSXT Manager. This registers Bitdefender as a security provider with NSXT and provides the Bitdefender Security Virtual Appliance templates. Our next step involves deploying the Gravity Zone Security Virtual Appliance with NSXT. First verify that the Bitdefender service shows up in the NSXT Manager catalog under Advanced Networking and Security Partner Services catalog. We can see that Bitdefender is successfully registered. To deploy the service, we go to System, Service Deployments. We click on Deploy Service and name our service deployment. Select the vCenter which we are going to use to provide ESXi cluster information we'll deploy to. Select our data store which the Bitdefender Security Virtual Appliances will be placed on and set our management network for those virtual appliances. We'll select our deployment specification which dictates the size of the Bitdefender SVM which we will deploy and the template that Bitdefender provides in SXT for configuration and we click save. After a few minutes the Bitdefender Security Virtual Appliance will be deployed onto the ESXi hosts and deployment status will show up, up and online. If we flip back over to the Gravity Zone console, we see that the SVA has shown up in our vCenter inventory. The next step involves creating the NSX groups in which Bitdefender will use to provide protection. Start by clicking on Inventory, Groups, and clicking on Add Group. The first group that we create is going to be used to place virtual machines in that will be protected by Bitdefender. We'll put in the description of Protected and set the members. Clicking on Members, and selecting the virtual machines from the inventory that we will use to protect. Apply and save the group. From here we can click on the view members button which will show us that the virtual machine that we added in is actually showing up in the group. We'll create a similar group with virtual machines in it that we won't protect. So the description is unprotected, add members, select members from the list, and select the next virtual machine and apply and save. We're going to create one last special group called Quarantine and use an NSXT construct for dynamically adding a virtual machine to a group called Tagging. This tag will be used by Bitdefender to place on a virtual machine that it finds a malicious payload on. We do so by clicking on Add Criteria, selecting the criteria as Contains, and naming the tag Antivirus. This tag will be used by Bitdefender to place on any virtual machine it finds with malicious payload. Next we'll take a look at Gravity Zone security policies. In the policy section, the Gravity Zone administrator defines security policy templates that are configuring all the security modules managed to the platform. When Gravity Zone has an active NSX guest introspection integration, the platform automatically creates three default policies with different levels of security aggressiveness. Custom policies are defined as shown, and in the NSX tab, check the box to submit this new policy to the NSXT manager. Now that we have a custom profile created in Gravity Zone, we're going to use that profile to create a service profile in NSX and then use it for a security policy. We start by going to Endpoint Protection, clicking on Service Profiles, clicking on Add Service Profile. We're going to name this service profile and then we're going to go to the vendor template and we're going to see that the custom vendor template that we created before shows up in the list. We select it and then click on Save. With the service profile created, we're going to use that to create an NSX policy for the first NSX group. We click on Add Policy, name the policy for the first security group, and then add a new rule. In this new rule, we're going to name the rule, and then we're going to select the groups associated with this rule. We're going to select our first group and click Apply. 
Lastly, we select the service profile that we just created, save it, and then publish the changes out to the virtual machines. Once the NSXT policy rule is created with the vendor profile, Gravity Zone receives the information the SVAs enable protection. Protected VMs are displayed in the Gravity Zone inventory with the N icon. In the VM Details tab, Gravity Zone administrators can audit the overall configuration. Centralized audits are available via the Gravity Zone reporting engine as well. Lastly, we'll add another NSX policy and rule for quarantine, which will contain the group that we created using our antivirus tag and publish it out. With our policies in place, let's watch Gravity Zone agentless security in conjunction with NSXT at work. We'll start by testing one of the virtual machines that we did not protect with Bitdefender and NSXT. We'll launch an application that plays an ICAR test file, which simulates malicious payload on the virtual machine. We can see that the ICAR file has been successfully placed on the C drive of the virtual machine. This means that our virtual machine has been virtually infected and was able to because it belongs to an NSXT group with no security policy assigned to it. Let's perform the same task on the other virtual machine that is being protected by Bitdefender and NSXT policy. We'll attempt to place an ICAR file on the C drive as well and see that while we get the same response as before about the placement of the file, no file actually shows up on the virtual machine. This is because Bitdefender's policy has blocked the file from being placed on the C drive. If we go back into the NSXT console, find the, in the quarantine group, and click on View Members, we can see that the virtual machine now shows up as an effective member of the quarantine group. Once an attack is blocked, Gravity Zone configures the security tag on the respective virtual machine and NSXT orchestrates a response action. If you go back into the Gravity Zone console, you can actually go into the virtual machine and see that the tag was applied. When you go back into the NSXT console and you click on Virtual Machines, you can see that the virtual machine actually has the tag applied to it as well from there. Tags can be removed manually or programmatically by administrators, post-investigation, or automatically removed by Gravity Zone after a successfully executed full system scan task. As you can see, we're running a full system scan task. Once it is done, the tag is cleared off of the virtual machine in the NSXT manager, and the virtual machine is removed from the quarantine group. Hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.